Uh, welcome to Motorsports International back in the shop here. My name is Rich. Batteries. Boys here like to know about batteries. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to start with um, lithium ion batteries, which I usually install in competition models or some sport bikes, high end sport bikes. How do you know if you have a lithium ion battery? Probably says it on there. I know the quick check is to weigh it. They don't weigh anything. See? Compared to a, a typical lead acid battery. So, there's a lot of misinformation out there. And actually, we're still learning about lithium ion batteries as we go along. But um, one thing that's critical is the battery charger that you have is not going to work on this battery. Don't use it. There's only one battery charger to use, and that's this one right here. Or similar. Optimate, recommended by the manufacturers, actually several of them. Um, it's for lithium ion batteries. That's the uh, that's the technical name for them right there. So this battery charger actually is a charger and a tester. So, so this battery is actually no good, but ultimately it proved no good. But when we plug it in, this comes with a little legend right here, what these mean. Um, ultimately, this one actually went to LED6, which is caution, state of health, the battery was no good. Right now, we're on number four, which is charging. State of charge is listed by the number of bars here, apparently. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but that could be just an icon. Yeah, so take your battery charger that you have at home and keep it away from your lithium ion batteries. There's more information from the manufacturer, actually uh, Yamaha. You really should know. Basically here, um, these batteries have an internal battery management system. It has an internal chip that helps prevent overcharging the damage to the battery. Here's an example. I'm going to read this real quick. A new battery, ship discharged. Recoverable, yes, of course. Use the Optimate. There you go. Now, here's the quirky, very quirky. Low temperature between 14 degrees outside and 32 degrees, while the battery terminal voltage is above 10 volts. Battery will no longer accept the charge for the motorcycle charging system to protect the internal cells. That's the battery management system. Can you recover it? Yes. And then you can continue to read there if you want to. There's a couple interesting ones here. Now, if the battery voltage at the terminals is below 4 volts, the battery enters a permanent protection mode. You cannot recover it. Replace the battery. By the way, um, you people out there, you want to measure battery voltage? Don't use an analog meter because you need to measure down to the hundredth of a volt. You see right here? Most digital meters are pretty accurate. Even the cheaper ones are pretty accurate. So go ahead and buy a digital meter. Don't throw your analog out. They're useful too, but for this purpose, you want a digital. Um, another one, if the battery voltage is above 7.28, the battery enters a perimeter protection mode, cannot recover, replace battery. But what's interesting is this battery charge will tell you all that stuff, if it's good or bad. So, there you go, spread the news.